Hello everyone, welcome to Mrs. Gray Morning's band class. Today we are going to look at song 4.9, Making Connections. This song introduces the concept of ties. Now ties and slurs look very, very similar. They're both indicated by a gentle arched line connecting notes. The difference between a slur and a tie is the second note. On a slur, the second note will be different, or uh, you will have several notes underneath of a slur. For a tie, a tie always connects two notes on the same line or space, and always only two notes on the same line or space. So you approach a tie basically in the same way that you approach a slur, where you tongue the first, but not the rest, and you never take a breath in the, in the middle of a tie. What happens when you don't tongue the second note if it is the same as the first? It basically just makes the note longer. The purpose of ties is generally to extend a note so that you hold it longer than is allowed within a single measure. So you can tie a whole note and a half note together and then you'd hold that sing uh, it would essentially be a single hold for six beats instead of a four beat note and then a two beat note. It basically becomes one note. In 4.9, none of the ties cross the bar line because it's just introducing you to the concept, but know that that is the primary function of a tie is to extend notes beyond the confines of a measure. With that in mind, let's take a look at 4.9. What is our key signature for this song? I see concert F major. Take note of how many sharps or flats that is for you. Our time signature in 4.9 is four, four times. We are counting to four in every measure and we are counting quarter notes uh, as the beat. Please pay, pay close attention to our ties in this song and make sure you're counting those rhythms correctly and try to add in those dynamics. We have some lovely crescendos and decrescendos in this piece of music that you should really try to bring out. All right, guys, let's play 4.9. Four point nine, making connections. Very good. Do it again on your own. Very good. Keep practicing this until you really feel comfortable with those slurs and with those beautiful gentle crescendos and decrescendos. See you next time. Bye!